Afternoon and thanks for joining us for News 4 at Noon. I'm RJ Breen. Al Jones has the day off. Larry Wentz will be in later this evening. We start our coverage off today with the BNSF Rail Bridge controlled explosion that happened earlier this morning. Our live team coverage brought us to both sides of that bridge on Military Road and from the Sioux City Railroad Museum. This is a live view from our Skylink 4 drone. That controlled blast occurred at just after 9 o'clock, bringing the South Dakota side of that bridge down. That boom sending shockwaves throughout the surrounding area. Now let's take another look at a different angle from over on the Sioux City Railroad Museum side. You can see once again that implosion bringing that bridge down into several pieces so that way it can be taken away by BNSF to begin the reconstruction process. That next scheduled controlled explosion is planned for Friday, September 6th tentatively, but could still change as we learn more on that cleanup process. KTIV's Katie Koppel is actually at that bridge right now, learning more about the different things crews were doing before and after that rail bridge explosion and what the next steps are ahead. So Katie, what did those surveys entail? That's right, RJ. So not only is this bridge a big piece of Siouxland history, but it's also a major transportation line through the Midwest. So losing this bridge, as we did in June, a big impact on the transportation line. But BNSF says it's not going to last for long. Let's get some video up for you. So not only does BNSF utilize this rail line, but another small railroad company does as well. Now trains have been diverted around this area since the end of June when the flooding began. Earlier this morning, before the controlled explosion, BNSF spoke to KTIV about this rail line and how losing this bridge impacts critical infrastructure here in the Midwest. Now, Amy McBeth told me this that they're going to rebuild this bridge. Well, BNSF and we have a short line partner that also operates across this bridge. So we've had to use other routes to be able to get the region's commodities to markets around the country. Uh, railroads move everything from aggregate to grain to ethanol to consumer products, you name it. Um, so it's an important way for us to transport goods around the country and certainly for this region. Now, Macbeth told me this morning that the company, again, does plan to rebuild this bridge as soon as they can. Once they get the permits and the proper material, that's going to be about a nine month long process. It will be a more modern version of what is being taken down today. Now, just one half of the bridge was taken down, the side that collapsed near South Dakota. Sioux City Police Sergeant Tom Gill was part of the police team around the perimeter. I spoke to him to get his reaction about viewing the explosion. Uh, but once they uh conducted the explosion right at 9 a.m. Um, I could feel the ground shake and then immediately there was car alarms going off uh, kind of from that shock wave of the explosion but it was uh, it was short but it was loud and uh, it looked like it did the job. Now, Gil described that explosion very well. You could really feel it in your gut. I was over um, across the river here at the Railroad Museum, but the second half again of the Iowa side is going to be taken down here in a few weeks sometime in September. Now, RJ, a big uh, history day here in Siouxland, not only losing this bridge uh, f permanently, but also the start of a new one that's going to be built here later on today. But it's just another casualty from the summer flooding. KTIV's Katie Koppel live from the BNSF Rail Bridge. Thank you for that update, Katie.